Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of What's New with CBT Nuggets. Each month, our trainers release new content. If you like anything that you're seeing, make sure to subscribe. Now let's jump in. First up is the Cisco Data Center 350-601 DC Core Training. Jeff Kish and David Smith cover the essential skills a data center professional must know about automation and orchestration, integration of cloud initiatives, virtualization, data center security, and unified computing. Many workloads and apps may be moving to the cloud, but that doesn't mean on-prem data centers are going away. In fact, many companies prefer their data center for security and performance. That's great news for anyone advancing their DC career with the CCMP data center. After finishing this data center training, you'll know how to design, deploy, and manage a data center. Want to learn React.js? Then check out Sean Wassel's new training. This foundational React fundamentals training prepares learners to create applications in React.js with excellent UIs and that can respond to data without refreshing the page. For those who don't know React.js, it's a user interface framework developed by Facebook, which they released as an open source product. It creates UIs particularly well but it's also gained popularity as a versatile view library that allows designers to build their own frameworks however they want. And last but not least, we have Python for Network Engineers. This training prepares network administrators to not just automate the behavior of your network and network devices, but improve their efficiency and speed with Python. Python is one of the most popular and widely used programming languages in the world. It's even more popular in the networking world thanks to the level of control it gives administrators and engineers over software-defined networking. With Python, it's really possible to automate all sorts of networking behaviors, saving you time and most importantly, money. If you don't follow us on social media, make sure to subscribe. We'll catch you back here in a couple of weeks.